Chả quế con, nướng không phải cái nướng được, chả quế Mấy đâu, mấy đâu, If you can't hear that right now, it's pretty much raining. But to sum up the two and a half weeks that I've been here in Saigon and Ho Chi Minh City, hot as hell, mosquito bites all over, you know. This is not supposed to be pink, you know, it's not shaded. But yeah, I just took a shower and I'm sweating again. You know, that's how hot it is. I got bites on bites on bites. It's pretty much your bang for your buck. You're not gonna be expecting some. Anthony Bourdain piece de la resistance, you know what I'm saying, but hella cheap and for what it's worth, definitely up there in my books. My favorite would have to be, you know, you can't go wrong with the bun kuang, which is like a rice, steamed rice with like minced ground pork and these black things that I don't know what it is covered in nook mom bean sprouts and you gotta have your basil or your yao tom. And then there's the bun mi. And the bunjang joint, which is apparently the new or like the hipster thing that people did. So I'm like, hey, why not try it? I guess I'm, I'm too Canadian. It wasn't like my favorite of the favorite. But you know, it was alright for like 20,000, which is like, I don't know how much that is. Luckily, I have an app. It's like a dollar, a dollar or like a bag that can make you pretty damn full. But when it comes to like Vietnamese street food, there isn't like, I guess some people like really hype it up. Oh, it's the bomb. This is, um, this is beef. This is beef bowl. This is beef tendon, another beef tendon. And um, that's it. What's, what's the broth made of? It's made of um, beef um, bones and um, beef. And this is the mum for dipping the meat, right? Yeah. And this is the signature of this place. You couldn't get it anywhere. But for me, it was like, it, it was my aunt's home cooking, you know, the hospitality that she treated me like I was, you know, her own son. And the food that I ate, you know, from the Boon Ryu to the, the, whatever you know and you know you already know i had to hit it with the pho with the vietnamese saigon pho that pretty much summed up my entire vietnam trip and it was quick right two and a half weeks i literally like blinked and that was it and like i said you know it was a good experience for me to like know where my roots are you know not completely forget my mother tongue and still understand and really see life in a different perspective because if you keep living life the same way you're so used to the certain routines and this was like a major like reality check for me on my behalf to really see how minuscule my problems are right and getting back is gonna be hard right it's gonna be going from a bunch of family members to like back to me that's gonna be the toughest part but at the end of the day like i said my blood is vietnamese well half vietnamese but you know the rest my heart is in canada and that's it for this video i'll see you back in vancouver deuces